So just to show you, the elements that we're going to apply the heights to are the carousel item, and then the left transparent element over here, and the right transparent, and then the carousel inner as well. We're going to apply it so that anything inside of the carousel inner will have that height. So back in our code, how we're going to do that is, we first target the carousel inner. So we're going to say parent dot carousel inner dot height. So if you remember, we passed in carousel the custom height, we named it as custom height. So we're going to say parent dot custom height to access the custom height. So we haven't actually set any width to this carousel inner. So if you remember, this carousel inner is just this little small box over here. It's overflowed by the wrapper. The wrapper is in contained inside of carousel inner, but because we want to have this sliding effect, we made it overflow its container. So even though the carousel inner is smaller than the wrapper, the wrapper is still contained inside of it. So we just have to set the width of the carousel inner and not the width of the wrapper. Okay. So we, after setting the height of the carousel inner, we're going to set its width as well. So we're going to say width and then it's going to be the same width as a single image width. So we just copy this and paste it inside there. So we say dot width and then paste this there. So the next height that we're going to set is the left transparent element. And then, so we'll say parent dot left transparent element dot height. And then we're going to say parent dot custom height. Okay, all right, let me just fix this, capital H. All right, we're going to copy this and then just change the name of left transparent element to right, just to be a bit faster. So we're going to say, instead of left, we're going to say right here now. Okay, right. so the next element that we have to set its height is the actual carousel item, the images themselves inside. So if you remember what I told you, the carousel inner over here, its height, it's not actually the height of the image. It's actually, we want it to be the height of whatever custom height we've passed. So for example, it could be, we could want it to set it to 700 pixels, but then the image that we have are something like 600 pixels. So we actually want to force the image to adjust to whatever height we have in our carousel over here. And the way we do that, we explicitly have to target the images and then set the height on them appropriately. So how we target the images is, is we say parent, dot carousel item and then we pass that to the jquery selector and then we say dot height and then inside the height function we're going to pass parent dot custom height okay that sounds about right okay now guys let's go back to our browser and then refresh and see what we have okay nothing seems to change so let's go to into our console it seems like we do have an error so we refresh again ah okay what's this saying saying advanced carousel is not a function so we'll just check where the error is happening um, yeah everything seems to be about right saying return this so if everything is okay here let's go to our when we are calling our carousel function and then we see if everything is okay there so back when we we're calling our function it seemed like I misspelled return I said return <laughs> sorry about that guys <laughs> must be a lot of coffee and um, overnight programming so yeah so we just spelled that right so return return we'll head back to our browser and then refresh and see what happens still nothing Hmm. Seems like we have another error saying this dot carousel outer is undefined. So let's click on this error line here and see where that is going on. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
carousel auto is undefined ah okay guys I've seen the issue okay the problem is we're calling carousel outer here but if you notice there's nowhere on top of our function here that we have carousel outer defined so we actually have to define carousel outer so we just copy that and at the top of the file here so if you notice carousel outer is actually this element that we actually have selected and called our function on so we say carousel outer equals to this dot element okay let's go back to our browser and then refresh so back in Firefox, we refresh and wow, okay, there we go. Seems like stuff's coming up, right? Okay, guys, it seemed like it did apply heights to elements, but this right over here doesn't seem to be right. So apparently it seems like it's not targeting the carousel items. So we'll just do a F12 and then see whether the heights and width are being applied to the element. Hmm okay so seem like our carousel item the weight isn't being applied to this so let's do a bit of debugging and see what's going on All right seem like ah we forgot a full stop here guys okay let's go back to chrome let's go back to firefox and then refresh and see what back in firefox refresh okay everything seems to be all right so it's coming up nice guys that's that looks good okay so i think we'll wrap it up from here and then we'll in the next video we'll continue writing our init function and then we'll style this to look even better and apply all the events that we need to apply on these links here this link and the ones down below here and you did realize what I told you about this when you hover over it the background changes to white it was because it was over a white background so you will really notice it so yeah that seems to be working right okay guys thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video